Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sheena for those that are new. And today's episode, we're going thrifting, where every piece tells a story and your wallets don't shout for help. Thrifting isn't just about shopping, it's more of an adventure. Before you embark on that adventure, you definitely need a map to route you to the right place. First tip is to always go in with a clear mind of what you need. I usually do a list of things that I need in my wardrobe, like a wish list of items that I would want to put in my arsenal in my closet. and. Um, that helps to not get swarm in the sea of a bunch of stuff. Currently, I'm looking for a trench coat, like a beige trench coat. You know, some basics because I'm like going through my wardrobe and seeing that I do need certain basics that I didn't think that I would need before, but you know, changing different climates affect that like I used to be in a warmer climate where I didn't need you know outerwear like that I didn't need trench coat I didn't need you know winter coats but living in a colder climate I see that I do need these items in my closet so that's one of the lists that I have you can't go wrong with having different types of blazers and um, so that's one part of my list too but just you know having a list really clears your mind because I know like if you're going to like a Goodwill or you know just a thrift store in general there's so much things in there that you just get swarmed and you're like uh uh let me turn around and go but if you have a list of items that you need in your wardrobe um you can move faster into um looking through the items which is cool because sometimes you can find like vintage items like the other time i went to the thrift store i found this um, really vintage you know London fog trench coat but it was denim and you could tell it's vintage because of the belting like they don't make that type of belt anymore and um, it's just it's just cool to find like vintage items and that that has great quality because nowadays the clothes they don't have as much good quality as it was back then because we have so much fast fashion okay tip number two I suggest you go early in the morning especially on the weekdays where there's not much people in there so that way you will feel comfortable um, looking through items you know you don't feel ashamed or just feel like pressured because there's not so much people in there and it's like your anxiety may go down because there's less people there usually it's just older people because they like to wake up early and hit up the thrift stores um, but if you do go during the early weekdays you don't have that problem of you know everybody's getting in the thrift store and you're like I don't know what to do you'll be relaxed and it'll be easier for you to like go through the item. Also, don't forget to check the men's section. Don't sleep on there. Don't sleep on the men's section, I will tell you. I found some great blazers in there. You can find graphic tees if you're looking for that um, because most of the time when I go to the graphic tees, like go to the t-shirt section for the woman, it doesn't compare to the men's section especially if you're curvy and you need some nice you know jeans or your tailored suit pants I would recommend going to the men's section because you can find the quality stuff in there and then if you need to get it tailored in the waist area like it will be great because the you know your thigh area if you're curvy will be like squished because I don't know I feel like the women's clothes like they make it tighter than it's supposed to be so that's why I like to go to the men's section it makes me feel less fat <laughs> because like 
why is the clothes so, so tight, you know, You're making me jump to another size. But that's another tip I would suggest too, is size up um, because you can also always alter it down. Um, especially like I don't go to the thrift store going exactly at my size I look at everything except for extra small stuff because I'm not there anymore I'm I ain't no double zero anymore so I've, I've had kids I got curves now so definitely don't go there however I definitely look at like bigger sizes I even go in the plus size section also because like I said you can always bring it down um, tailoring is one of my best things that I do among um, thrifting because you can customize it to your body type which I love also with thrifting you have to be very patient um, because there, you're going to be digging a lot until you find something that suits you. Finding a one-of-a-kind piece will be worthwhile if you're patient and looking through it. Um, that's why I suggest going early in the morning when they open because you'll find more stuff there that wouldn't be there if you didn't go early. You know, you could also ask when are they restocking like when do they do their restock and you can plan your trip accordingly from that thank me later for that <laughs> now that you scored some incredible pieces let's talk about styling what i love about thrifting is you get to experiment on different eras you know different vintage finds and Coordinate it to your personality, your style, what makes you uniquely you, which I, I just love that. Um, another thing I love about thrifting is that, you know, in the world of social media, I feel like everybody is looking the same. And with, um, you know, because they're like telling you to buy, buy, buy. And if you see my last video on the Pinterest looks, I told you. We are wearing what's in our closet. However, um, saving some money, I would recommend thrift. This is what this video is for. We're saving coins this year, but we're finding quality items, okay? Because they don't make that anymore. They don't. So I had to get a tuxedo suit. That is one piece in my wish list that I, I've been wanting for a long time. And I finally found it at the thrift store and I was so amazed with that because you could do so much with tuxedo vests and not only that I saw two and normally I don't know for some reason that's why I say manifest what you want because if you write it down that stuff it will start popping up I remember I had to write a cropped trench coat and when I went to the thrift store I found it there. Oh my god, what are you telling me? <laughs> Write it down, it will happen. So I found two tuxedo suits, but I ended up getting one. And it was the same brand too. The I'll have it on the screen here. Also, you can mix modern with vintage. So that's another thing that I like to do. So say for the tuxedo suit blazer I'll pair it with a button down a, a long button down some boots thigh high boots maybe a red thigh high boot with a red lip and that could be a classic look or have some sexiness to it and just wear the tailored suit with a tailored pants and some pumps have a sexy bralette inside and that could be a look too Ooh. <laughs> it just gets me excited you know I think the best part about it is you get a balance um, from the vintage finds to having your modern pieces in your wardrobe accessorizing is a great tool and finding quirky stuff in the thrift store like um, especially belts, scarves, 
I love scarves where I could turn it from a scarf on my head to like a tie on my neck or even turn it into a tie if you want to. Um, I just think those accentuate um, your personal style as well. For finding retro sunglasses, I would say another um, tip is definitely wearing your items with confidence. So like I said, if you want to alter your um, clothes so it can fit you the right way, wearing your clothes with confidence really helps to like bring out your personality and bring out your unique self. So I'll say rock those pieces like nobody else can. Like only you can do it. Because they probably can't do it like you, you know? You are unique in your own way. Thrifting really can help bring that out of you. Or bonus tip I will tell you, if you are afraid of going to the thrift store, like you feel uh, very overwhelmed, I would definitely start with like a consignment store, like a Play-Dohs, um, one of those luxury consignment stores where it, not even luxury, but it's just a consignment store that um, buys um, items from people that kept it in really good shape. I would start out with those places first until you get comfortable going to different thrift stores. You, you probably just need to dip your feet in that water first to like understand their thing and then once you're there you swim it you swim it okay and you are navigating where you need to go so I would definitely definitely do consignment stores if you're afraid to go to like a Goodwill or Salvation Army you know I would definitely start at a consignment store so that concludes the video thank you guys for watching if you got this far find me on social media I'm Store on Instagram and if you do thrift definitely tag me and say hashtag thrifty finds I would love to see your thrift finds that just sparks joy to me because I, I really am passionate about thrifting if you found these tips were helpful, give me a thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe for more fashion forward content, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!